our kickoff speaker and New York City Council member. Margaret Chin took office in the New York City Council in 2010 as the representative for District 1 in Lower Manhattan. Mm -hmm. And Margaret is the chair of the Council's Committee on Aging and is a member of the Committees on Education, Youth Services, Rules and Transportation. You're a founding member of the Progressive Caucus and a member of the Women's Caucus. Margaret's also a co-vice chair of the Black, Latino, and Asian Caucus. You are the chair of the New York City Council's Committee on Aging. What kinds of issues facing the city's elders have you addressed with the committee? Well, I am so honored uh, to be here today and I'm really excited uh, to meet all the volunteers. And um, being the chair of the Aging Committee, I have the responsibility of really looking at issues that affect our seniors across the city. And one of the key issues that we are looking at is affordable housing. How do we help the senior stay in the home that they have lived for many years and stay in the neighborhood that they helped to build? So that is a critical issue. And also to make sure that they have the services that they need. Because we have a lot of seniors who, um, you know, they go to senior centers and they enjoy all the activity, they get a nutritious meal. But we have also seniors who are homebound, who are not able to go to senior center. So we have to make sure that they get services uh, at home, such as a home deliver meal, um, you know, um, other supportive services for them. And we have to also take care of the caregivers that help these seniors. At the same time, some of the seniors themselves are caregivers. They are taking care of elderly parents or they're taking care of their grandchildren. So things like, you know, safe streets, making sure there's transportation, um, all those issues um, are important to the seniors. You are the kickoff speaker for our event today. How did you decide what you wanted to speak about with the Glamour Gals volunteers? Uh, I don't know. I just really wanted to... Um, kind of share some experience, and also really acknowledge the important works that they are doing, and that for them to really cherish that experience um, that they are getting from this volunteer service. And hopefully it will carry through with them through the rest of their life, and it will help them in their career, help them with their family, just like what I experienced when I was growing up. And was there an experience when you were younger that really sticks out to you? Well, I grew up with a lot of, uh, you know, older um, adults in the neighborhood, whether it's my grandparents, uh, grand aunts and grand uncles and neighbors, and you hear their stories, and you, um, you know, you get inspired, and you see the difficulty and the, that they had to overcome, and the courage that they had, um, a traveling to a new country, or like in the neighborhood where they don't speak the language. But they manage uh, to survive, and they build a better future for their children. What's your favorite thing about your job? And did you ever, in your wildest dreams, <laughs> imagine having a job like this when you were in high school? Never. <laughs> Never, ever? <laughs> Never. I was quite quiet in high school. I mean, I wasn't as active. I mean, I was involved in some community. But it was really more a lot of, like cultural things and... Uh, but it wasn't until I got in college, at City College, that I learned about the history uh, of my ancestor, the history of the struggles of the Chinese American in this country, that it really got me more involved in fighting for equality and justice. And so definitely in high school, never imagined, not even in college. But it's just something that happened along the way um, through community service and public service. Well. Thank you so much for being here with us today, and it's so wonderful to see you, and you are inspiring for all that you do for all of us in New York City. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. <laughs>